Hello everyone, my name is Brian. Um, I recently purchased this HTC Droid DNA. It's got a feature on here for wireless charging. HTC originally released some that uh, came specifically for this device, has since been discontinued and I can't get a hold of those. And when I purchased my DNA, I had the option of uh, this charger um, from Nokia. Uh, it's made for the Lumia, but it's the QI standard, so it works well with the um, with the DNA. The way these things work is really simple. Um, this plugs in here. And this plugs into a wall ward or an AC adapter. Let me show you here. As I set it down, there's no connection made uh, physically. Um, as you see, it texts the charger, and it's in charging mode. This device being a HTC, um, it's really common, so it's really easy to get accessories. Now I decided to pick up the car dock suction base, um, and it sits in there. It's really nice. Uh, it vibrates a little bit because the um, the neck here is a little thin, and it's got the uh, screw mount uh, ball cap on here. You might be familiar with these. They just screw off, and then the base pops off. Um, it works really well, um, and it's really sturdy, and the base on here is extra wide, and so is the uh, suction base, so it gets a really powerful suction, and it very rarely ever comes off. Uh, my GPS tends to fall off more than this thing. Um, however, if you'll notice, there's cables running here, which would be fine except for this micro USB. Now on the Droid DNA, the micro USB is covered up by a mini hatch, which is nice to keep out lint, um, but being at home, I like that uh, wireless charging capability, as would anybody else, and as you can see here, that's just not the case here, and I do have this plugged into the USB for power. Um, as you can see, to get this thing in here, you have to pull out that uh, hatch, hold it open, or push it out of the way. You know, it's a little fumbly to get that thing in there. And when it receives power from this unit, it realizes that it's in uh, car dock, so it switches into car dock mode. But again, that's a little encumbersome, especially when you go to get it out. And then to close that hatch, now I've had a few of my friends try this before and with their bare fingers they have a lot of trouble. Luckily I have fingernails and I'm capable of just pushing it right in. My main problem here with this was that USB when why would I need that if I've got wireless charging capability. So I'm going to be modding this. As you see my idea here is to actually pull out the base of the um, the wiring which is just a stock USB with a USB male to female converter to get you a little bit of extension wrapped around uh, I'm gonna pull those out and I'm going to cut off a small section of the plate right here because um, as you can see it there is a plate that sticks out and I'm going to cut it off right about here so that this will sit down in there a little bit better. So hey guys, I'm here in my workshop. Uh, I've got my uh, uh, carport uh, or car charger holder ready. And uh, I've got my Dremel set up here and I've actually got it in a hanging position. It makes it a little easier to work with my uh, pin style uh, cutter. And uh, see if you can see that there. I've got a uh, high speed cutting edge. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slim cut from one side directly across to the other. And I've already got it um, measured out to where the phone's going to sit. And it's pretty much just a, a finger length uh, from here to there that I need for the recess for the wireless charger to sit in there properly. Okay, so uh, I've done a preliminary cut right along there. And I've got it uh, fairly deep in the recess. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can just snap it out by pulling on the top here. Just my fingers. There we go. Well, now that I've got this opened up and you can see what I'm working with here, uh, as you can see, it's got a couple of uh, lip clips on there, which look like they were just snapped in place. 
but as I do not need to go down the full length, all I want to do is uh, get it down to here so the uh, wireless charger will sit directly inside this port here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this down just a little bit more now that I know what uh, type of depth I'm working with and try and smooth this out. Okay, so that's now a little bit lower, a little smoother, and I grounded out the edges right there. I can actually uh, smooth that out with uh, uh, sander or something else similar. Okay, so just a quick example here. Um, I do have it set in here correctly. Um, once they uh, get this down in here uh, and uh, glued into place, it's going to sit just like this. And as you can see on the back, it is raised up a little bit from uh, standard. Let me pull it out. You can see it sits flat there. Once this is in, it raises it up just a little bit, but not so much not to allow the phone in place and holding it tight. Now I'm going to place the phone in here to show you. It does seat in the the holding system and it is secure. It's going to hold in place just like that, okay? Alright. A little more modding and we should be done. Okay guys, quick amendment here. These are just the uh, other parts of the uh, unit. Um, I've decided not to glue this down, although I probably could real quick. Matter of fact, I think I will. I'll just uh, put that on there before I put the other unit in place. Um, and as you see, I've smoothed that out a little bit. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. This is going to move just a little bit until I get the uh, charger in place. Uh, I also went ahead and just ground down the two lips that were sticking up right there. Um, and as you can see, placing that in. Yep. It'll hold the bottom in place really well. Once the uh, glue is on the back, that'll actually hold in place really well. Um, as I said earlier, I was going to go with Gorilla Glue, and I am. I'm going to go with the epoxy. It sets up in five minutes. It's usable within a day or so. Uh, and I'd really like to use this for work in the morning, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on now. But I'm not going to show you that because it's going to be a little difficult to do with the camera and trying to put this on at the same time. Um, these things usually come with a needle, uh, or a syringe type thing that attaches to both ends. I do not think I have one left, so I'm going to have to uh, mix it and then uh, spread it on with, um, like a popsicle stick or something. Make do with what I've got. So, uh, on a side note really quick, I didn't have any popsicle, uh, popsicle sticks handy, so, uh, I'm kind of having to do that from scratch by eating the popsicle. Should I skip this part? Right on. Okay, so just a quick update, fellas. I've uh, got done gluing it into place, and uh, I've placed it inside of the uh, quick clamp here, uh, holding everything together. As you can see, the uh, glue shining around the edge there. I made sure to do it around the uh, edge of the corners to uh, ensure that it actually gripped onto the base and uh, along the edge of the bottom row there as well. Okay, so here I am in my car. I've got my almost finished project up here uh, mounted in my uh, dash uh, and that is the standard travel charger with my wireless uh, system uh, installed. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn my car over here. I just want the accessory on right now. And where's my phone? Other pocket. There we go. Now, as you see right there, my little light came on. That means it's charging, and I'll uh, and show you that there. Let me uh, turn this off, and it recognizes that it's no longer charging. And I'll turn it on. Gives it a second to pump through there, and there's my wireless charging. And it's a working model. I have noticed um, that it is a little offset from the center. I, I have to get it pretty close to the inner edge here in order for it to charge. If I get it too far out of range this way, it turns off the charge. So I do have to set it far to the right. I, I have a fix for this. Um, I'm going to build a small rail that sits across here. Um, that raises it up about this far, which will put it more towards the center 
and that'll uh, make sure that I don't have to set it so far off to the left or the right uh, and it'll just sit up a little higher which is fine by me I'm not gonna walk through that process however uh, I will show you the finished project later after it's done as for the charging unit the wires go down here and I've uh, decided to hide them inside my unused ashtray port I've actually pulled out the ashtray and it's in the back of the car um, and the charger with a uh, inverter is now stuck inside this open hole and the wire just loosely runs up and around back behind that thing all right welcome back uh, here we have our finished product uh, as you can see the uh, wood plank there on the bottom I don't know if you can see that light really well but uh, it's just uh, two small planks of wood back to back and they are uh, screwed together uh, be able to see the screws there on the bottom okay and uh, they're uh, fitted to uh, make sure that it doesn't wiggle up and down too much side to side motion is negligible uh, if you want to make yours exact you can but the uh, top should be beveled like this it's got a nice round edge uh, about the size of a number two pencil running along the top and that allows the phone to fit into the groove really well uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my car's accessory light again here and I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can unlock this and put this in without actually disturbing anything on my home screen it's like so and there's our wireless charging and this is nice and sturdy I'm putting quite a bit of force on there to enough to uh, change the <laughs> rotation of this thing um, and as you can see it's still getting a charge up there and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off just to show you that it loses the charging capability as it does it is receiving that wirelessly and again back on to show you it is in range should be right there I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out of there just takes a little bit of force and charging's off well there you have it a nice wireless charger uh, cell phone uh, car holder um, all in all it costs about um, these are normally about 50 bucks the wireless charger uh, you can get a good deal sometimes on eBay for like 25 bucks I, I picked up two of them for 25 bucks each um, of course the uh, cell phone holder itself um, those things go for about another 50 maybe less uh, you might get a package deal with your phone um, the inverter that's probably gonna be your most expensive piece and you can pick those up at Walmart um, ranging anywhere from 25 to 70 dollars depending on what you want how many accessories you've got running so good luck to you in your mod uh, I hope you have as much success in getting yours running the way you want and yeah mine's a little tacky but it gets the job done and that's all I was looking for I hope that uh, Verizon and HTC take the hint and actually build one that's nicer looking but they better pay me royalty fees because I designed it first like my video if you like the mod thanks bye